ओके बस सो नाउ लेट्स गो विथ लुमिरा बस डिजाइन स्टूडियो सी आई एव नॉट कवर्ड हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ इट बट I just gave you what is what. How, how do you get in there? Yeah? I think from there you should be able to explore it. It should not be much complex. Yeah? Next, it is Lumira bus. Recording. अभी मार्च में विनोद फोन जे रे वन सैकंड इट इज नॉट कनेक्टेड टू टीवी टाइम ओके बस Let's look at Lumira. See, Lumira is not a not a dashboarding tool. Boss. It is a self-servicing tool. When I say self-servicing tool, uh, that is a tool which will be used by end users or your power users to discover the data from them. That's it. You don't really get in and do. You just enable them to work on Lumira. That's it. But uh, you are not going to design any dashboards from there. Now, just if you get into Lumira. it's more of creating data visualizations so let's say they have lot of data they would like to do some data discover discovery from that by doing some visualizations that is where they use lumira you know, okay. let's take a simple one let's say i say file mm, this is this is lumira boss okay and you just say file and let's say you say create new 
and the first first thing is you'll have to create your what data set then what what actually it does is it has got its own database it actually gets it downloads the data from the source and stores into this tool and then the visualization is done actually so you can take the excel as a source or hana online or hana offline when i said download from hana as a server sap cubex and check connect it connects to the hana system it will show me all the views any view i select i can just download it from there what do we test it pqr yes i'll take some say purchase order over here and say next then when i select that view it shows me all the key figures and all the measures oh, sorry all the dimensions if you don't want some of them you can say oh, i want that and then i'll say whatever it is z let me bring and then i'll say create now it actually downloads all that when it is downloading where it is storing the data storing the data within lumira bus so this live its own data storage also like your click view it live its own data storage yeah? uh so once you have so there will be four major steps what you do here one is preparing your data set and create your visualizations and group of visualizations you create that as a storyboard and you share it with the other other users that's the four things you do that's it it's about preparing your data set creating your visualizations with you create different visualizations with the data set here and by using set of visualizations you create a storyboard you compose it as a storyboard and then you share it with the different users or when it is sharing you can say you share it with different users how do you share it you should have a lumira server set up and what are the lumira dashboard you have done here you will publish this to lumira server and then share it with the users what way Uh, good. See, in Design Studio, you're creating application. You can create lots complex things into it. This is only about you just take data set. You're creating visualization. You're creating charts, and you're not creating any event based or some eventing. All is not done. You're just creating visualizations with the help of graph or charts or or maps. But you cannot do something like interactive reporting. All those cannot be done here. It's only visualization. That's it. you. You look at data in form of a chart or or map or say line chart or something that but you're not doing any dynamic eventing and that stuff is not been available here now when it comes to preparing data let's say this this is the data here mm, i've got all my columns like company name postal code product id product if you scroll down you see all those columns yeah? so what individuals can do is they can do, they can do some preparation of the data for example um, first first kind of preparation is for the dimensions it, they will, let's say they got something like history created at which is a date now in bw based on the date can be derived some uh, month year quarter week same way they also can look at this if they click this options they have option called create date time hierarchy they can create their hierarchy for this so when i create this So you get year, quarter, month, day automatically. So what what it does? It actually derives the new columns uh, like date, month, year, quarter. If you go to right, history created it, and if you still go, see, it creates the columns like year, quarter, then what? Ah, uh, any extra columns create just automatically. Okay. Hmm. One more thing. Do you have anything like country? Hmm. I've got country bus. Even if I have some country, I can create another two hierarchies. You can create one is date time hierarchy, one is geographical hierarchy. So if you just if you have country, I'll say <coughs> sorry. You can say create what? What is this here? Create geographical hierarchy based on my because my my country column has got names, not the um, geo characteristic. Say by names. Mm, this is country, and I've got something like uh, 
forget to just say country is fine say confirm and say done it automatically creates now if you go top you should see one hierarchy on the time wise one hierarchy on the countries you can see country regions if you can do that and about this you can basically let's say uh, you got net amount and quantity right so i want to create some new key figure at the right here Individuals can do that way. They can just click on this. Uh, what is create? Calculate measures, and they can define something. Say, mm, a is average selling price. What is your formula? Mm, net amount and divided by quantity. Let's. That's my formula. So now, if you go towards right corner, you will see one more column. Where is my? Cricket on the Chala columns, but you see another column being added as average selling price. They can do this way. Mm, they want you can do some simple trans. You can you can convert it number, convert, remove remove duplicates, merge this column. Like say if you have multiple columns, you want to merge it. They can do all. It, this all kind of uh, data massage, but not to the extreme level. To some extent, you can either select right click on here or. So you have a column. You can click on this. You get convert to text or remove merge columns, duplicates, or whatever it is you can. Do. Okay. Now if you see this column month, there are actually around some five thousand to six thousand records. But it is showing me five thousand six or it is showing only uh, distinct values of this column. Distinct value. Here you can convert the view what you want. See if you if you say facts. Mm, if you say this one uh, grid, it will just show me complete data set. Even though, see, if the month is repeated, it repeats month September multiple times. But if you say facts, it just shows me only unique values. Product category, what are the uniques? You only get to see unique values like this. Okay. So I have this data set. Mm, I have this product ID something. I have this product ID right. Let's say I also have some data in Excel which says like product ID and some class. So there's another column which says product class, which I also want to use it in the reporting by joining this data set with the data set in Excel. So do I need to join these two or union those? And merging, I need to do much. What I can do, I can drop down this and you can see what. Append, when do you open? Let's say this is all my purchasing data for North America. Let's say there's one more data set purchasing data for um, say Europe. I want to combine both. Then I'll say what? Append. As soon as I append, again it tries, goes me and asks me for creating a new data set, which could be HANA or which could be Excel or Bex query, whatever it is. Or if you want to link up both, if you want to join the data sets, then I'll say what? Drop down, I'll say what? Merge. Okay, boss. You can go with new calculate column or new dimension. Let's say I have some uh, customer name. I just want to take left six characters, or I can do that kind of formulas and create my new dimension also. Like this, you can basically prepare your data sets like this. Okay, boss. And then once the data set is ready, you can start going forward. Create based on this data. You do some uh, slight massaging on the data, then create all the data set make the data set ready. Then using the data set, you can start creating your visualizations. Mm. I don't think so. Say so merge. Uh, here you can choose inner join or left order join. It will be stored within, see, actually yes, Lumira will have its own database. Like it can leverage Sybase, Psyche or something, it will have its own database. It will store data on its own at runtime. Hmm. Now I will create visualization. Let's say I want to go with uh, bar chart, which tells me, when I say bar chart, last me the measure, I want to see um, net amount and uh, the dimension I want to see with company name wise. Wait. 
Add more minutes. Why is it not working? There is data, right? Net term one and net sign. Theta one. Is it slow or something? It's a good light chart. Now I'm getting it. Okay. I want company name wise. I want to split. So I get to see company names and their values. Now I would like to sort this and see it is, it is for him, for the individual to explore the data from there. He says I want to do sorting. Mm, sort as ascending. Okay. I'm not interested in analyzing the, the ones which is bought. Only the top five I'm interested in. So what I can do. Three, four, five, eight. Select only the top five, and you can select this and say apply filter. I can do more exploration like this. So now I am trying to uh, look at the data only for these customers, or if I am interested to see only these three, I can just select again filter so only for these three. Customers. I can do some. Ex so now I am trying to find out who is the top most, who is the bottom most. I am trying to explore my data for myself. Mm, let's say this is like now. now. Let's say I want to go with something a pie chart. Select pie chart and let's say net amount versus my product categories. And uh, if I'm interested to see only on this part of it, <coughs> I can still do break it up like this. A pie chart. Let's say I want to go with a map, yeah. mm, geo map. Google Sutile. This is my chart. What I want. I would like to specify the measures. I would like to represent, uh, let's say, uh, quantities. And the dimension is I need to have a geo hierarchy, so I'll say country. Then I start, and you can change your uh, legend. Choose you can choose a different set of colors and whatever it is you can do, and you can start exploring on the country wise. You look map, uh, yeah. Like this, you can create any. Like so I just want to see total numeric point number value, yeah. What the quantity in Tundu Gaval total quant. This shows me a numeric value as saying. Total quantity in the and um, just I'll create one more numeric point which is my total net term. What is my total figure? My net term want in the or let's say I would like to create some heat map on uh, net term of the I would let go with some quantities and say product category wise. Heat I can get in heat map like this in East it's it's all it's all yours. You cross tab got the crash tab yeah. and say so you want to get some cross tab and I would like to see quantity and rows I would like to see hmm, something else supplier city so you get to see is it like more like a table yeah this is one kind of visualizations and okay boss it like this you can create any number of visualizations okay and then once he creates visualizations, he gets to compass and I would let go with the standard uh, say. It's a create. Now this is the page format and then you can just drag and drop your uh, say. Total net amount save I want this the total value of the someone to be shown here. 
and the country wise formatting is here and I want uh, this heat map into this and I want this tabular data here basically you can you can do whatever it is now you can say preview you can design your uh, storyboard uh, with all you can just do anything you want you can design your uh, storyboard you can see the preview I want to see it for tab then for tab it's going to be like this if it is for mobile it's going to be like this okay your desktop resolution with it you can just basically create your visualizations and then what I can I can just go to what uh, share and I'll publish this storyboard to my server first. So I need to have, before I do this, I need to have installed my server. So I can install my Lumira server on XS engine of HANA Studio. <clears throat> I don't need business objects enterprise. If I just have HANA on XS engine, I can deploy my Lumira server. Actually publish to Lumira server. Suppose if you already installed your Lumira server in HANA, it would cloud or sub -mamula. If it is installed in premises on HANA access engine, I can just give HANA login details and say connect and go to, I can publish it. So within HANA, you will have something like launch pad. So on access engine, you will have something like launch pad where you can start running that as reports. If you want to share, if users want to share, but generally we don't even go with server, we'll just go with client tool. We'll ask users to do their visualizations of their own. Okay, so this is and you can pop this is like Lumira or something. And now, now the okay, okay. when I say file is okay. Now, when I say file new, I'll say the now this is saved as a local document. And whenever I want, I can just open it back and then see that okay. <clears throat> now my point is let's say I want to create again new I'm trying to choose new data set do I get to see BigSquery here or other can we use BigSquery as a source yes we can use BigSquery as a source but only thing is if you go file if you go to what what is extension something now here you have to install some extensions for it there are currently no install mm. Your BW data acquisition connector on those. If I get this installed, it this allows me to start connecting to my BW. And if this, if I get, if I install this, this will allow me to start getting connected to my universe also. Well, the look big connect change. Only thing is you need to install the extensions what is required for it. Okay. Uh, so the dynamic content. Data you have to refresh it. Uh, uh, now he's saying, um, uh, if I do. There is a concept called refreshing, so we, we shall connect back again and then you know when it says data set created, now it is downloading all the data into it. Yeah. Now you can always go to prepare and say I can say what? What is this? Refresh the document. It will again connect back and see what it's doing it is again connecting back to the uh, source from where the data was referred and is imports again data refresh yes. no manual refresh so after the file is shared after this uh, file is shared to some other mm -hmm. they have any option mm -hmm. then because then that is just a visualization for example you take data into excel in the excel can i create a graph and i send a graph to certain user can he do refresh? No, he can only see the graph and, and represent some um, analysis, that's it, but nothing done there. Sir, will there be any performance impact for Luminar in case we download? <clears throat> this is for huge data. 
<clears throat> Lumera is to play with huge data because it will it'll store the data within its memory. Lumera will use main memory and store data in main memory also. So this is to Lumera is for huge data. This is nothing to do with HANA. This is a component of business objects. But why it is linked to HANA is generally if you look at WebB, <clears throat> if you want to work with WebB, what should you do? What are the documents you create with WebB? You have to publish into Launchpad in BO server only. So you need to have BO server if you have to work with WebB. But when it comes to Design Studio and Lumira, it is not necessarily that you install BO server. Because whatever the applications you design in Design Studio, I can integrate it with HANA by installing Design Studio server in Access Engine on Access Engine of HANA server. Same way, I can also install Lumira server in BO server or I can install my Lumira server in on Access Engine of HANA database. So that is where there is a link, but there is no, this is not nothing to do with HANA. Got what, what I'm saying? I can install my Design Studio server into Access Engine of HANA database. I can also install Lumira server also into Access Engine of HANA server. And publish my Lumira dashboards into HANA Access Engine and Design Studio applications into HANA Access Engine. I don't need Business Objects server also. Vivo server is not needed. That is where this has got importance with Lumira and Design Studio, which can be leveraged without Vivo Enterprise. I can still, I can, I can just install only HANA database and have these two integrated towards HANA. I don't even have to go with business objects interface. That is what making it special. Who will make the decision whether to go for access engine? See, generally, if the customers, customers have got the BO interface, they will start leveraging BO server because they'll use the same platform because all the users administration is already done. Let's say you have 50 users, already 50 users have got their login, password, everything into the BO, so they you publish reports into BO itself. Suppose BO is not purchased, they don't have a license of BO, now they have a license of only HANA bus. And if they want to go with reporting and you run with Design Studio and Lumira, if, if it is becoming costly for them to go with business subject, they can leverage HANA itself. If they have BO and HANA, I'll prefer BO. If they don't have BO, instead of going for separate licensing and they want leverage creating applications with this, they can still deploy it on HANA Access Engine. That is what my focus. Okay, Navas. And if you still want to do a research on it, uh, Google can be how to install Lumira server on HANA, how to install setup Design Studio server on HANA. Design Studio is simple. It just gives you some, uh, you need to import some deliver, delivery, okay, delivery to From service, service marketplace, you, deliver, you download delivery and import it into HANA. Then obviously you can start publishing Design Studio applications into HANA access engine. Lumara good and you need to do some configuration, some tiles and if you can then you should you have it. Okay, boss. <coughs> hmm. In the, in the, the tooling, this is pretty much, and you can explore from there. And next, you already seen that analysis for OLAP bus. We already been practicing it. It was with Excel, and then you create some data set. Yeah? Analysis and analysis for Excel. Can I say this is also self servicing tool? This is also for individuals to explore data on their own. One point I forgot to show you. And a good munch point for individuals. See in Design Studio, what you're doing? When you connect to Big Square, you already have a view of it. The layout is defined. But in, when you connect to HANA view, there is no layout. So what you do? In, on the data source, you right click and say what? Edit initial view. You create a uh, the initial view of the data source, right? So whether the reports developed in Lumira for users are static or the reports are online like refresh data. 
see if you create your lumira report uh, dashboard and you publish on to lumira server then it is not static you when you run because when you publish it on the server data set is published as well as the dashboard is published if i create some visualizations in my lumira server when i publish it on uh, sorry in, in the lumira client desktop tool and when i publish it on to lumira server which is deployed on xs engine of hana when i publish data set is published and visualizations are also published so both are there in my xs engine bus when i refresh my visualization obviously it does use the data set which is already there in my lumira server then it will refresh it but for example i have a client application and i design my visualization and i give i save it as a local file and give this local file to let's say some other person to visualize then it will not be <coughs> online refresh at that difference yeah but if you're publishing on lumira server it is it will refresh data on you it, because it will have the data set also to lumira server so okay uh, you just connect this okay analysis say something new. i say new blank workbook and i insert source select data source mm, skip i'll connect to what you know about stb creating stb connections then good anna when the connection when olap analysis is old we create we need olap connection how we create in cmc but for the new uh, um, analysis olap we, we use http connection you remember how we create on a plane lo right click got the new See this. This is. You assume this is like some. You are just doing something, and you can do lots of stuff. You can do some conditional formatting, like your uh, exceptions. You can do styles, cross style. You can do lots. Styling. Ante format blue or do not. I showed you that. Chine chine under convert formula, insert charts. Normal more or less Excel. But again, ante said I just created my view here. Ida na kawal. Okay. I can just copy this. Uh, I can say what is smart copy and go to Design Studio, create new analysis application. You get what I mean? You need a data source, right? Data source. You get what I mean? Right click and I can say. What is smart paste? I'm going to run. local backend connection which is not available when running va platform other like a http connection board no if it is olap connection when i do a smart paste uh, what are the data we have visualized in analysis view can will come with a data source sort a smart copy smart paste no option so you can that also can be leveraged and the mamul this is all about olap analysis you can start doing charts reload and all those stuff you can If it's the tooling, then okay. This is again for end user, boss. Okay. So this is what we're trying to focus now. Web B for analysis and Lumira. This will be for what? Self uh, self servicing and design studio. See, don't say dashboard. We use design studio to create application. See, in the country. Do you remember in in Word we used to create uh, input ready queries? we can get input ready query in ip then connect that to a var and then you can you can enable a button connecting to planning functions and all the stuff all those can be done even in design studio also look at this you have something like what is planning objects you can initiate a planning function planning sequence so i even if i have input ready query in bw that also can be brought in i can enable planning functions i can trigger planning sequences in bw it can also be done ah uh, inka can i this is like application right can i do something like this chudu boss um i'll dep what i can design design an application deploy this on an access engine yes ah uh, mm, chudu illa jayicha no i can just say something like um, can i do something like this input text field mm, name some field 
input text field and something like uh, I can create some text EMP ID some text uh, EMP name Let's say I give a button like save, like but I'm just creating some kind of uh, like a panel create this yeah? panel of this place this form. this none I can create a form like this <clears throat> now what I want is let's say I have enabled this design studio or HANA now when I normally when I say save it gets saved as an application into what into HANA database and this when I run this application, it will run with your access engine, uh, SAP QX colon 80801 and start running with on access engines. <clears throat> when I click this button, I need to take the information from this text box and insert into HANA database. Right? What I can do, <clears throat> I can develop some more data service in, in native HANA development. I can create some more data services or I can create some JavaScript code in which is running on access engine uh, on click of this button I can what I can do hmm. I can call that a uh, JavaScript law you write a coding of inserting these two fields so you'll call that JavaScript page by saying post when I say post you pass those two parameters they take this and then they input into database and I am a design dashboard here it's an application. I'm developing my own custom applications. Are the design studio level? <clears throat> right? And you also there is also um, there's also concept of linking documents from design studio. You can jump from one design studio application to like you know, view how do you have like open document? There's also open document. Um, there is uh, there is a document in Google, Manoj Garde. There is a student in our batch who is actually is an expert on to this part. He has published a document on how to doc, how to jump from one design studio document to another design studio document also. Hmm. So this is Ganta. Yeah, input. I mean, the mm, and basically, if I give you a programming language, you can do anything you want. So, similarly, I have JavaScripting. So, I can just give like file, browse, and say set this upload. And, and from there, you trigger a JavaScript. We give control of this Excel file. Excel is a table again. Because recently, I've done a research on, I told you about we had a project requirement of converting e forms into. Uh, XML files. So there was some ready-made utility on Java which was converting that. Actually, we had Excel nunchi the There will be ready-made code utility available for that. Other code you will publish. You will write it as a. At Hana lo, when you go to Hana native development, you can start developing your own. I have done this for previous batch, but uh, <clears throat> you can say new and say what? What is this? You can create a JavaScript file and then call the JavaScript file on the click of the button. Can be done. It's a, it's a, you have level you have flexible of writing your implementing program language. Now now feeling about the program language is not in standard. 
and you know you design you write you just google a search uh, design studio hana integration with uh, input enabled at a search i saw some sometime long back i saw what uh, he was having some like table kind of stuff and he was having like price uh, price of the product and that information was shown from hana and he wanted to he want to allow this uh, user of the application to change the prices pakkana chinna edit button image ichinadu click chesi if it changes the price and saves it the data goes and saves into hana data you can simulate more like an input ready query type to simulate cheyachu i can do that stuff also anything goes you can get to extreme in design studio that's it's all it's all about thought okay nanna and inka kontha mandi em chestunnaru ante they are going they can also go with some extensions also uh, there are some inko student unnadu he was designing ipudu manaki ee world map undu kada he was he was designing a dashboard with globe and now you he they have placed a globe here but a side la arrow mark undu kodadu globe thirugutha untundu anadu you can choose any country you want from the globe so that is actually an extension from a different third party company they buy that component they get into business student leverage it you can also do this do the ex, install extension design student you can install some extra but apart from the components what we have we can also leverage components from third party also konta mandi ekkuva they they would not be happy with the charts what they have there are some third party companies who only deal with charts ipo now they used to they used to give some third party extensions of charts to excel cs now they started with design studio there are companies which are supporting giving you some extension towards new chart types good is that's how you can integrate uh, so if you want to extend more from this uh, my so google kelte uh, sap business objects hmm. tutorial in so official you will have something official tutorial by sap then legal thing and new now i'll say i'll go to what uh, a design student you know it's about spending time on it hmm. go to design then go 50 videos unta degare degare nenedi clean edukonna na na ke because i basically had an idea about um, bad anni kod idea nu pedda katha engada first uh, so very very simple uh, how to log how to log into design studio oka video dan which inge evadu how to uh, nav- navigating the interface ante how to he is explaining about all the screens in it how to create simple application how to add a data source how to connect to hana how to read the qr code mm, and then how to uh, set up a basic component uh, how to add an hyperlink in application how to do formatting cheptadu kodiga he also explains about writing scripting or jump rri jump target etla global script functions inka kon how to man you remember web report template jason paina buttons ichi save as bookmark avanni you can also do that you can have a button which is saves as bookmark personalizing use interactive properties of crash tab he clicks on a crash tab and you want to effect reflect some changes in the charts you can do all this okay boss yeah mm same way you will have what lumira uh, boss mm malo go to go how to blend data how to merge how to create time error key how to manage error keys how to create groups and save a document to lumira server okay cloud ketla ba platform ketla because i can i can install my lumira server on access engine anna or a ba ba platform unte one udesh business objects enterprise okay boss mm. explore it from here but my my thought process is normally when you go to any interview they would ask you do you know bio yes sir sir la antadu ante em adagalo bio lo it's more of a drag and drop so there will be very less discussions but generally you will test uh, you you should use directly say i uh, basically worked on design studio lumira analysis for olap and web and i did they just try to be focused on these five components that should be what adhe ekko inga antha kuda scene kuda ledanna in some projects there is only web design studio 
or let's even if you can say i worked explicitly on design studio you still have value a lot of value very good i explicitly worked on i was work as an hana consultant i explicitly worked on hana studio design studio and kuda bayangaram value inga janalaki when you said design studio uh, hana studio work chesina untadu ఆ కన్ఫ్యూజన్లో ఉన్నారు స్టిల్ ఓకే సో యూ షుడ్ సెట్ హనా స్టూడియో కాదు డిజైన్ స్టూడియో యూ షుడ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ టెల్ యూ ఇట్ ఇస్ డిజైన్ స్టూడియో ఈవెన్ యూ కెన్ ఈజీ క్లియర్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ జస్ట్ బై సేయింగ్ ఐఎమ్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ ఆఫ్ డిజైన్ స్టూడియో సో గోయింగ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లైక్ దట్ ఓకే యూ కెనాట్ బి అన్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ది కాంపనెంట్స్ బట్ చూస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ ఫేవరెట్ ఏరియా అండ్ బికమ్ అన్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఐ థింక్ ఇఫ్ యూర్ బికమింగ్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ ఆఫ్ డిజైన్ స్టూడియో యూ హ్యావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ స్కోప్ because it's like you are going to be up, you, you, at the end of the day you become an application developer you can integrate these applications of design studio towards hana native development also mm. as normally what you do you should um, ante na thought endante in hana studio idu pan chese ledu for example chudu mane nenu em chesina ante i just create some html file html here uh, something like create sales order see as by using hana native development i told you the database over data services or javascript as services and then you'll have what sap ui file for designing front end by using that i have just created some form like this uh, text boxes button and then uh, this thing uh, sales order number uh, something 86 um, south employee number 99 something order value 120 and i click what save creation has failed but normally what it is trying to it is trying to insert some uh, data into a some hana table was means what on the click of this button i have written some code if you get in um you see this uh, on save button i'm just performing this event where i'm just collecting all the values of the text boxes and then i'm doing binding with i'm doing some kind of stuff here Wh- what is my intention is this is just an html file sap ui file can i develop this application with the design studio this front end screen and link that button with that coding in the back end then if i can design this application with design studio with drag and drop and publish that application on to hana studio on that what hana access engine and on a click of this button it, i'm firing out an another javascript program which is running on access engine only can i still develop an application with that ah uh, ah uh, you can also use design studio to that level also to design your front end ui also because ultimately even if i'm writing code here i'm using html5 and designing my uh, ui5 and design studio also leverages html5 only right i can do drag and drop and design my screen and if i save this into hana chusta idu hana la unda nade సపోజ్ డిజైన్ స్టూడియో ఇన్స్టాల్ ఐ మస్ట్ సి ఏ ప్యాకేజ్ కాల్ డిజైన్ స్టూడియో అని ఉండాలా ఉంటే ఐ కెన్ హ్యావ్ మై సో డిజైన్ స్టూడియో ఉందా ఐ ఇంపోర్ట్ దిస్ ప్యాకేజెస్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఐ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ పబ్లిషింగ్ మై అప్లికేషన్ ఆన్ టు హన్ ఆల్సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నేను ఏమంటా అంటే ఐ విల్ క్లోజ్ దిస్ అవుట్ ఐ విల్ లాగ్ ఇన్ టు డిజైన్ స్టూడియో and from bw side i can consume bex query in all of these yeah? can i consume bex query directly in web directly in design studio lumira analysis for everywhere i can consume bex query directly but only if it is hana for web you need universe but for design studio for lumira i can consume those views directly analysis whole app also can consume me only for web i need to my universe built on those views otherwise no. set tools preferences and say startup mode is what what is it hana restart 
I am trying to have this. Now I am playing this design student what as if as if it is a front end tool for my HANA database. Now I don't have BO server, I don't have BW nothing. I just have HANA and I've installed my design studio which is playing on uh, HANA. So I, I've just imported some uh, delivery unit into my HANA database about design studio. So I can start saving my design studio applications into HANA directly. So in the SAP Cubex 8001 is not 8001. I'm connecting to Cubex 01 instance and system user. A uh, user ID was. I am giving user login details of SP9, which is a HANA database. The state, so is it like a front end tool of HANA? Bex query designer is a front end component for BW. It's fixed. WebB is a component of BW, fixed. But design studio is a component of what? You get like that. You can have design studio acting as if it's a front end component of HANA or BW or BW. The inflexibility. And I can just say some great new application. blank bit and let's say I use some data source I use I just bring some panel. Mm. Mm. The text works. Huh? The text works. Huh? Another button. Okay, now was. And I'll say save application. Mm. As what? Why test zero? What's it? Successfully saved application, so on, so right. If I go to my design studio, sorry, HANA studio, you should see. White test 01 on the bus. If I go to HANA development, uh, repository choose there, you will start seeing that application. There is an app now. Open the that that coding. I can start using this. I can start running this as an application. Run, run, run. It is stuck. It is executed on HANA. It is running. SAP Cubex 8001 BI. So on. So on. Access engine will run. It is it running this application on Access engine? Now what I will do on on using native development. Let's say I create some JavaScript. On click of this button, now let's say this is I have got some scripting. Some it service none goes. It could be service or just scripting anything. Run as as a test environment. Run as access service. A service and purpose. So is this run also running on access engine? SAP Cubex H green key. Can I say on a click of this button? Hmm. And JP Dan call JHS. Since this application is also running on HANA access engine, can I call other applications running on access engine by passing some either question mark betty post this and a parameter which is calling the agent? So Design Studio will also help me to develop my own custom applications on to HANA native development also. Front-end applications can be designed. Design Studio is not about designing dashboard, designing applications. Extreme on it. Okay. That's only thought what I want you to take through. General arrangement and what is laid but thought you should have that. This is okay. Mm. <clears throat> Next, you wanted to see that uh, text analysis, right? Unstructured data. Yeah. Mm. I'll just give you an hint about what is what, and then you can expand from there. Yeah. See, we have concept called text analysis. We have concept called text analysis, which uh, which can help you to do processing of unstructured data let's say what unstructured data with a very big string 
you want to do some sentiment analysis then i can use text analysis box. for example um, So what I'm doing, I'm just creating what? A schema and I'm just creating a table with two columns, ID and what? String. And then I'm just inserting uh, one record saying ID was one and Bob likes some string. Bob likes some working at SAP, some string. Yeah? Now you should see a table, um, a schema with a table in it, with my table. It's a content. I have one record. Bob likes working at SAP. Like I said, understand this is like a review on some uh, some SAP company. Now I would like to do an analysis sentiment. Whether is it a positive sentiment? Whether this review is a positive sentiment on SAP or a negative sentiment on SAP? So what we can do is, hmm, what is it we can do? We we go to create something called what full text index on this table. This is all okay. We're just going to say create full text index and this is a name. When um, create full text index by using this column, this column of this table. But I'm using something called what is here? Configuration. Extracts underscore core underscore voice of custom. Configuration, it's like there will be some set of dictionaries already declared into it. Some vocabulary is already declared. So this is one kind of configuration which is given and saying text analysis on. I just say activate. Now you should see an index created. This is like full text index. If you see the content of this, full text index created, and I will get a dollar. See, I get another table called dollar TMI index. You can see the content. The one record, whatever we had, Bob like customer was broken down into multiple parts of the string and has given me something like whether it is sentiment or a person or what does it says? Weak positive sentiment. If you say really likes Ananko, it will be strong positive sentiment. Say, for example, I insert one more. Pratap likes, you go to likes. Really on the levels. Two bit to three bit. So, really likes Ananko. Real and Nijanga Anand. Nijanga Anand. Strong item. should was ID one on the record I one is been split into multiple tokens and same way two multiple tokens, three is tokens. Really likes another game. This is what it says. Likes it, it creates some full text index like this. And you can live on this full text index, you will create some stored procedure which will convert that into uh, sentiment and number of number, and then you can create some crap sometimes. It is normalized we will make it more if this is denormalized we can make it more normalized things it's a type topic sentiment and count in the month positive sentiment in one negative one second one second one second one second one second one second i'm coming to that i'm coming so what is that i've just used this configuration called what extraction is this the main part of it extraction underscore core underscore voice of customer uh, so where is it? I can also instead of writing uh, some SQL statement, I can also go with manually creating this also. My table. If you go to index here, I could do it. It's like you could right click go to the, let me say it. You could have index and you can see normal index or what is this here? You could change the tenant. You can say full text index. You could index details and you could just. Uh, index, uh, uh, you want to build this full text index on which column? Oh, the column name is what? Uh, string and a column with Gavali. Mm. If you go to write, here a specified column. What is extraction of the core? You can, also, you can create your full text index either by using SQL create full text index or you can go with UI also here. Okay, boss. Uh, you put question name on the major point. 
was on the configuration x tax underscore core underscore y sub n y was using that okay? hmm. look at this in total let's deal with configuration in total for creating your text indexes or text analysis or when you're creating your full text index you use configurations here there are five different configurations available so one is First set of group is called as linguistic uh, configuration and next is called as extraction configuration. Linguistic and uh, more of a language specific, uh, language styling, okay. Based on the linguistics, it creates some, uh, there are some configurations available. So, when you create a full text index using linguistic, then the kind of analysis it gives is different. And when is there is something called what? Extraction. And extraction has got two things, core and core voice of course. These two are based on entities. Not, these are not in the language specific. These are major than entities. Entities are the name, place, animal thing. They identify as an entity, then the entities. And then this core is only for entities. This is for entities with sentiment analysis on top. So like this, they have given some configurations for you. You can use these configurations and create your full text index. Now you should ask me, is there any coding written for this kind of questions? Yes. If you see this kind of, if you go to Hana Dolabut, you can see that um, repositories, in, you know, package called SAP and Hana, and you'll have something about what is this? TA, text analysis and config. See, you see this kind of questions. Link analysis, full. Link analysis, basic. Link analysis, stems. Link voice of customer, core. If I go, if I open this out, let me open Janita. It already is written some coding, which will leverage some dictionaries in the system. In the library, already everything is coding is written. So based on the dictionary, uh, all configuration coding here, it basically does the create your full text index for us. If you want, for example, if I use the word cubix, let me, I'll go back to that later, but now. So you understand there are, there are five different configurations. Now we should understand what is basic, what is stems, what is full, and then what is core, what, if you understand the difference between all these five configurations, then you just have to create full text index. That's it, very simple. Uh, Basic contained labels, it only does a tokenization. Okay, you give a big string, it splits each word as one token. Ante. When I build my full text index by using configuration as a basic, it just divides each word as one token. Ante. That means change it. Okay, and if I use this configuration called link analysis stem, it will not link analysis basic, link analysis what? Stems and stems and it does do tokenization means each word is split into uh, one token and then for each token it finds out the root. For example, I have a word like uh, likes. Anand. Likes is a word which is derived from a root called like. Like likes. So like is likes was derived from a word called what? Like. So like is a stem for likes. Anand. So it, it will give you tokenization. It split each word into one token that is called a tokenization and stemming root word of it. And the link analysis full on it will also uh, what does it do it does do tokenization stemming and also parent uh, linking of each of these parents also we'll see that and then extraction core is uh, extraction core is what it does do identify only entities and give you from a big string it will only identify name place animal thing as entities and gives you core voice of customer is what it identifies entities and also gives you sentiment analysis also whether strong positive and strong negative one is that. that's why you have this five for example i put it What I'm doing, uh, <clears throat> same. I'm just dropping, creating a table, and what? One thing I'm creating, I'm creating the full text index on this column of this table. Which table? A yeah, my table. On which column of it? Mm. String. And what configuration I'm using? Basic. P 
బేసిక్ చేసి ఏమైతుంది ఇన్ ద కాలం ఇండెక్స్ అంత ఇక్కడ వస్తుంది డాలర్ టీఎంఐ ఇండెక్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ దిస్ ఏం చేస్తుంది చూడ జస్ట్ నథింగ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ టోకన్స్ ఆర్ ఆర్ ఆఫ్ విచ్ ఐడి బస్ వన్ దిస్ ఐడి ఈస్ ఈజ్ ఈజ్ లింకింగ్ యూర్ ప్రైమరీ ఆఫ్ మై మై టేబుల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వన్ in this i got ideas one this id one represents this all the six record the linking and lxp indicates linguistic based on the language okay this is a token count is not what i told you you use which configuration did you use to create the index was basic right tokenization only just go one to break jada mante so it is saying uh, this is a token one token two token three token four token five tokens count bob likes working at sap dot oko doko token ఇంక్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఓకే టోకెన్ టైప్ అన్ని వచ్చిపో నార్మల్ స్టేమ్ నో చూడ స్టెమ్మింగ్ బ్లాంక్ ఏం లేదు అండ్ ఆల్ దిస్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు సేమ్ పేరాగ్రాఫ్ అండ్ సేమ్ సెంటెన్స్ అండ్ నాకు ఉండేది ఒక సెంటెన్స్ సో ది ఆల్ బిలాంగ్ టు సేమ్ పేరాగ్రాఫ్ అండ్ సేమ్ సెంటెన్స్ బస్ ఇది ఆఫ్ సెట్టింగ్ అంటే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నా ఐ బట్ బాబ్ నీకు యునో అబౌట్ అబ్ యాప్ రైట్ ప్లస్ జీరో ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ నాకు ఒక బిగ్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఏది బాబ్ తీసుకోవాలంటే వాట్ యూ రైట్ జీరో ఆఫ్ త్రీ రాసాము but what is this offset starting string zero kada and and this is zero and next word i am taking for likes and zero 1 2 3 and 4 what is starting character of next word a 4 so 4 enno character degi nunchi na word start ayindi and point offset ante idi 4 but this if you just want to break that word into different words and then you want to further analysis or writing scripting then you do basic words okay బేసిక్ బదులు నెక్స్ట్ స్టెమ్స్ అంట స్టెమ్ ఏం చేస్తుంది ఇట్ బ్రేక్ ఇట్ విల్ డూ టోకనైజేషన్ ఇట్ విల్ డూ టోకనైజేషన్ అండ్ ఇట్లా ఇట్ గివ్ యూ స్టెమ్మింగ్ ఆల్సో లుక్ దిస్ ఇట్ ఇట్ డస్ బాబ్ లైక్స్ వర్కింగ్ అట్ ఎస్ఏప్ ఈస్ ఓకే అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఏ స్టెమ్ సే లైక్స్ ఈజ్ అ వర్డ్ డివైడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద విచ్ స్టెమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ in the stem there is a question mark there is no stemming now it does do tokenization and what stemming also okay boss <coughs> and now ta type ta type is all unknown kada ikkada ante one dot ante punctuation okay now let's i go with what uh, full ante boss so go to full you will have tokenization mm. tokens is split yeah you have stemming you also have token types in this is a verb or this is preposition this is proper name and this proper name in english and vocab verb ver, uh, the name of grammar kuda cheptunnanu punctuation complete details linguistic full and things okay adhe mm. nenu uh, extraction underscore uh, core one on go this mainly deals with what entities alone yeah and then the only entities name place animal thing bob sap and rendu this is a person this is an organization and people this okay nanna uh, it only identifies entities person now if i say again one more kind of extraction underscore core underscore uh, voice of customer uh, voice of customer will give you what will do will give be line will give it is entity based and will give sentiment analysis also mm, saying look at this um, it is doing some tokens but does it give sentiment here weak positive sentiment ante i can pick this topic i can say organize this my topic sap for sap there is a weak sentiment one like this i can take lot of reviews on sap and then give you, can you give me a clear and graph or data analysis saying for company sap what how much was my positive sentiment how much was my negative sentiment can you give that from this and the data is more dnr based you have to you have to do content curing you need to cure this data by using 
scripting you know you just write some coding take out all unwanted columns and make it more denormalized you convert it to pivoting and then you get the count yes uh super nak simple na question uh or unko record insert chestam bob likes cube excel bob likes uh ஒரு <coughs> there is a dictionary which is already declared saying sap in whenever they use the word sap it has to be referred as a company kaani cubex at the company refer cheyin cheppi already one dictionary load raayala so name be i can i can customize my dictionaries also i can say itla jodu uh, <coughs> it like i can basically i can create my own dictionary bus hdb dictionary in jp i can create my dictionary here like this um also then upon google ki how to create a dictionary ante adu cheptundi so etla pettna small letter cubex pettna cubex pettna cube institute pettna cubex institute pratap cubex but any way you write it has to treat that as a cubex company it has to treat that as what cubex technologies as a what training institute no dictionary betti you create let's say you create this as a dictionary was then we had that configuration files you remember i showed you this your configuration files we shown given administration la this one i'll have to get into this configuration files and say enable the dictionary ikkada kelipi kinda enable custom dictionary i should enable say i need to use this dictionary better in the same extraction underscore core or whatever it is apart from the normal dictionaries enable my custom dictionary and i'll enable my code like say i'll go with this so it like in the kill now let's say on the top i create my own cubex dictionary ikkada 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 kill custom dictionaries vaaduko ee ikkada ee path lo na hdb dictionary core cubex an or dictionary file pedta so when 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 it is doing the um, full text index using that configuration configs will leverage my dictionary and identify cubex as what as a training institute like this you can create your own dictionary also okay atla ga sir end scripting eppudu raayalana ante avasaram ledhu you can just create your table nen you can just create a table i can also create my full text index uh, with ui also yeah some name my uh, index <coughs> what do you want full text index um, index sync sync ante as soon as i insert record into this table it automatically creates a index now which column i would like to use which column string column which is string the column name string data type gather okay string and then where care is all fine and here it's a what which configuration you want to use eh? with this l hmm extraction underscore uh add when one core underscore first for bit na ultimately it is executing the same sql should create full text index an ipudu ad create ayintundi ஏமாங்குவேஜ் பெட்டு வச்சுங் text analysis on language d china any system on it you can make it bit more complex 
if you want to get into more details you just get it youtube and uh, sap and text analysis and you'll have some set of videos and you just play through these videos okay na gandu odu kudu bhai eppa ni just take through this okay <coughs> hmm. this is uh, full text index eh? and next thing is see uh, and how many of you heard about open sap course which deals with mainly on what uh, ana native development uh, ana native development at basically initially in this in this class i told you um, sap has given some ana native framework like so where you build your database and scripting in the back end for exposing this database content you can create your own data services or javascripting uh, server side javascripting to present this in the front end you create what you create your sap uifi applications right and that's where you get into hana native development like this uh, we have done this for your previous batch um, uh, we basically create some database some tables we create some application sites we create some dot access job models uh, services then we create ui we create widgets we create xml files and then we did lots of stuff on but this is not for an into purpose of point of view this is not so important but this is important if you really want to go in when you want to develop your own custom applications on hana by using hana you would like to develop your own application then this becomes important so i didn't want to waste time in showing you all this but what i have done i have one video <coughs> which i have just i showed you something so here the content this project we have done this for previous batch a previous batch chesina appudu mottham video record chesina it is around 3 hours some change mm. so this i can then go send this you video it clear ga cheptund annatu clearly tells you what to be used. if you want i can send this project i can download this project and send you those files html files also but that video will tell you clearly on how to write service how to create odt service how to create html application site etla ela ela le de intlo mark miss ayina web bi kuda unnattu undala na design student adi ok the analysis for excel kuda intlo unnattu just let's have a look at it till here it was all on hana development was so i'll just send out this video just use it endukante the ant usage em ledanna real time lo it's okay but if you look at this video it should be not so much complex very simple okay hmm. and uh, anything else please send i'll send you to be send us videos yeah, i'll send you. okay was <clears throat> so that's all it time up but we'll just spend some 15 minutes on okay you now you know hana now what it is is you know hana as database you know hana as modeling environment you know about data provisioning into hana then you know about hana working towards with bws backend or ecs as backend with hana live then we know about something on text analysis or whatever it is right this is what we have learnt in this course <clears throat> so normally what i do i i put my profile and i keep attending interviews to know what is the kind of questionings they do okay mm. so what what i faced was and there were some interviews which are explicitly on uh, saying enterprise ana enterprise ana means they are focused on installing stand alone ana database doing data processing through bo ds or slt putting data into hana and then doing reporting with bo that is their scenario there are some some interests which are purely on bw hana migration there are some interests which was purely on bw hana optimization kind of stuff so that is a kind of requirement so what i would do is there was interview which i failed saying um, the requirement was on bw hana but i didn't know that his requirement was that i thought he was his requirement is enterprise hana then i started saying i explicitly worked on enterprise hana oh, sorry our requirement is bw hana petition there is no second question so ultimately i need to ultimately i need to clear any interview boss whether it is bw hana enterprise hana i should be there so what i do is 
So as soon as you open up the interview, they'll ask you, tell me about yourself or what is your experience on HANA. Then you would say, I've got two years or three years or 2.5 or 1.5, depending on your profile. So I've got two years, three years of experience on SAP HANA. And we have leveraged SAP HANA's backend database for BW. And same HANA database was leveraged as a standalone database uh, implementing as enterprise HANA, uh, doing data provisioning into HANA and leveraging both BW modeling and HANA modeling and exposing reporting with business objects, mainly focused on design studio. And about with the data projecting through SLT and, and BODS towards HANA as well as towards BW. And we also integrate BODS towards BW also. But you should say your scenario is about BW on HANA and we are leveraging this HANA as a backend database for BW as well as enterprise HANA also. And also have ECC or HANA Pitta Shetla. My customer also has got ECC with HANA and Sinar Vitesh, so you can also link smart data access. All this can be connected into your project. Now he starts getting in. <clears throat> you getting, I've set up a scenario for him so that I can answer him. Entire aspect of HANA, enterprise HANA, BW HANA, smart data access, everything can be covered into this. Now he starts asking you, do you did you work with HANA modeling? So let you focus one by one. He says, you worked on HANA modeling, you say what? Mm. Yes. You say I worked on creating attribute views, analytical views, cal but calculations, but majorly it was on calculation with scripting based and graphical based. That is what your question uh, on top. <clears throat> then if he's really strong in the modeling, he starts putting questions onto modeling this way. He'll ask you major point. Did you work with uh, what is the difference between input parameters and variables? Compulsory question number. What is the difference between input parameters and variables? Input parameters are parameterizing the definition of the view. Variables are used to filter the data after the view definition has been defined. So which one would you prefer? Input parameter. That should be fine. Then I'll ask you, can I make my, can I do filtering in attribute view dynamic views? In attribute view, can I make my filters dynamic views? We don't have direct flexibility of using input parameter or variable, but I can use placeholders. That is what he's expecting. So I can create, a, I can use placeholder parameters in my attribute view and call that from my calculation view, where I can create input parameter calculation and do mapping of input parameters. That is what he's expecting. Then that is what the question is. Then he'll ask you, what are the different operations you will have? Operation nodes in calculation view. What is it? Uh, join, union, rank, uh, aggregation, and then projection. What is the difference between, he'll ask you, what is the difference between projection and aggregation? Projection just can do filtering of data and then projecting certain columns. Aggregation also can do filtering of data, projecting of certain columns, but that you specify the aggregation, the group, sum of, you specify the aggregation behavior for your measures. That is important. But, and you should, you should also tell them, I cannot do filtering on the default node of the projection or the aggregation. Now, what are the different data categories available in calculation view? <clears throat> dimension, cube, and blank. Uh, dimension, no measures, no reporting. Blank, uh, measures, no reporting. Uh, cube, measures, and reporting. Can also have st can I also have star join into my calculation view? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Mm. And what is the difference between reference join and inner join? Reference join. He also plays an inner join only when the join is executed. And join is executed only when you refer the columns from both the tables. Otherwise, join is not executed. So that is reference join. And reference join is played or recognized only by your OLAP engine. If you have reference join in attribute view, that is not executed because it does leverage your join engine. You know that concept. Uh, then you ask you about temporal join. So referential join and temporal join make sense only inside your star join node. You got this point. Only in start join, you mainly focus on reference join and what? Temporal. Temporal join is what? You want to join in common column and also date intervals, then you go with what? Date intervals, you understand it. Temporal join. See, you're actually answering some person who already knows it. So you don't have to you don't have to explain it. You say you're joining the data on multiple tables, same column and date intervals, then you go with temporal join, so you understand it. That's our point of focus. Then uh, uh, then when they discuss on calculation view, they say the in which version of HANA did you work with? If you say 90, SP9 Alana, you say revision, 96 revision, 106 revision Alana. 
SP 10 and 106 division, SP 9 and 96 division. Then when you say 96 division, it's a there's a new operation calculation we wanted. What is it? Um, rank node is a new one. Then what is the purpose of rank? By using rank, can you get bottom hundred? By using rank, I can get top or bottom. Then, um, then when he's discussing about this rank, he jumps into scripting with Windows functions. Because even in Windows function, you have rank. What is the difference between rank and dense ranking? What is uh, then? Do you work? Do you know about Windows? Yes, Do you know what is lead and lag? Moving one one value forward or one value backward? That is what lead and lag. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll answer this. Wait, don't worry. Uh, you, you're getting this? So that is how. Until I, can I handle it? So can I use attribute view? Attribute view? No. I It was like rapid road. Once I but question I pull up answer the range Can I use attribute view? Attribute view? No. Can I use attribute view? Analytical view? Can I use analytical view? Analytical view? Can I use analytical view? Calculation view? Calculation view? Calculation view? Can you use calculation view into scripting based calculation view? Mm. How? Uh, because for graphical calculation, it does create a column view in CSPIC scheme. I can do a select onto that um, uh, column view and then uh, uh, do the call my graphical calculation view. Now, do you know about writing scripting based calculation view? What is the default output parameter in writing scripting where underscore out? Yes, good. Now, do you know about scripting? Yes, can you give me syntax of writing? Oh, sorry, do you know about writing scripting in procedures? Uh, what is the pro syntax for writing procedure? Create procedure, procedure name, reads SQL data, and uh, default schema, and parameter list in, out, and with result view, reads SQL data with result view, so on, so you should be able to explain the complete syntax of it. And then he might ask you some functions on string, concatenate, or some, uh, some functions. <clears throat> Do you have gone through those functions? Uh, what is Colis? There is a function like Colis, which finds the uh, first non-null value. Uh, suppose, if, let's say, what values like uh, A, B, and null. And the first non-null value is like A. So there is a function. Just go through some functions because when you say you're really strong in scripting. They expect you to know at least some, even if you say some function, I don't know, it's okay. But try to get to most of the functions and know about temporary tables and C functions. What is what is the function C underscore join underscore view? Ah, now C underscore join underscore you say to join two tables. No, C underscore join underscore view is to read data from a column view of an attribute view. C underscore join is for inner join. C underscore left order underscore join is for left order. C underscore right order join is right order join. Uh, C projection, you understand? Can you do where clause in it? Can you do filtering in the C underscore projection? C underscore calc? Okay. It's all important. C functions. Huh? That was on scripting and, and thing. And you can get it. You can give some scenario. And, and then he also puts a question say, you have developed a view and it performance is really low. How do you handle in this kind of cases? Under? Okay. Then you will say, mm, Basically, we will do SQL tracing from the configuration, find out where, where is the problem or threads. Okay? Then you will say, I will basically focus on modularizing, parallel, parallelizing. Okay? That's about big logic. I will split that logic into smaller, smaller views and call them parallelly. That is one. You can also think about partitioning of table and setting up filtering in the input parameters as bottom as possible. While reading data from table itself, I'll apply filters so that the data volume is reduced on which the logic is getting executed. We can use, and also I'll not, uh, if writing scripting, I'll not say select star, I'll say select the columns what I want because of columnar storage. Then when you raise the topic columnar storage, you, you may can get into discussion of delta merging. Okay, main store, delta store, movement of it, you know about that concept. And that is how it will be in. Okay, next he'll ask you work on data pro SLT. Then he starts asking about this. What is the T code for kind of, uh, for customizing the transformations in SL tables? If it is uh, new support pack LTRS, if it is old, I use underscore RFL underscore content. Okay, what is the T code importance of LTRC? LTR, that is the question. So LTRC, LTR, and LTR is for configuration, LTRC is for monitoring. And if an error comes in, where do you monitor? You know that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to delete some triggers, I, what is the T code you can use? I use underscore remote. And uh, what is the difference between uh, replicate, load, uh, stop replication, suspend, resume? This compulsory. 
and what is the schema which load all the information about the SL replication? Sys underscore R appeal and what is the table entry? S underscore RS underscore replication underscore complete that will have the information about every SLT configuration schema. Can I also replicate the tables from LTRC also? Yes, or from HANA Studio also you can do. Uh, even you know what is the difference between event based and trigger based and macro about skip record. I think pretty much you should be able to handle this LT. Then when it comes to BOTs, then you start asking you, did you work with BOTs? You say, yes, sir. No, Anand. Then when he starts asking you more questions on the BOTs, then you say, I'm not an expert of BOTs. I'm actually an HANA consultant, but I've closely worked with BOTs consultants when integrating other systems. So I know how, do, how does it, how does BOTs integrate to BW? How does it integrate to ES? Because I'm an SAP consultant with HANA background. I was I was helping them. I was closely working with BOTs team to have the data processing done towards my HANA system. So that's where I know little bit of data store job on our angel That's fine. Then lastly, do you work with reporting? Then you say explicitly worked on designs to take any two or three analysis for OLAP. Uh, you can take Lumira, but design student don't leave it. So I worked on design studio explicitly. Then what I wanted to ah, okay, Lante. That means question I will do. Because it's it's more of a UI drag and drop kind of stuff, right? But we might ask you, do you know about parallel query execution? In latest 1.5 version of design studio, they came out with concept of parallel query execution, which has improved the performance. Previously, performance was really bad. I think major point. And, uh, and someday they asked me about. When I use my chart, can I use special certain columns? I told you about data selection, prompts, variables. I think it's all about your practice in the BO. And the universe of a derived table, you they might ask you, so I've got different prompts, I want to be different naming, then you can go with derived table using a derived prompt function. Hmm. <clears throat> then they, then he's, if he's a BW consultant, then he'll get on to BW HANA also. The only thing he'll ask you is, um, in what way can I consume my HANA views in BW under? What do you think is the best way of doing it? First, you'll say, how can I consume my HANA views in BW? So you start listing, you can go with transient provider, you can go with virtual cube, you can go with what? Uh, ODP, HANA information source, just to connect myself connection, then I access it or by using uh, open ODS view with a view and you use a column view, or I can go with what? Directly do reporting on view also with this P11. But last, what is the best way? Which one would you prefer? Open ODS view based on a database table or view, use a column view as a source. That's the best. Then he'll ask you, did you, did you, do you know how to publish my um, BW provider says HANA model center? Yes, sir. With S7.4, you have the checkbox in the uh, provider settings. You create external HANA view automatically, that will create my view automatically. So, it, so we used to have a DSO. We enable the checkbox, it creates DSO automatically. For mass data, we're importing it as attribute view. We're combining both of them with both of this attribute view and uh, analytical view with the help of calculation view, exposing calculation view for reporting. You can say there are some scenarios where we're using Bex query for reporting. There are some scenarios where we're using views for reporting. When in some scenarios where we're using Bex reporting was to leverage aggregation from you. Remember, in Bex reporting, do we have like um, <clears throat> for a keyword in the properties you have aggregation, a count distinct, some um, you have like last value latest those aggregations cannot be handled in hana if you want that it has to go through big query if not normal then i go with what hana model so i've used both in and out of it i'll also send you one video how to implement inventory with hana optimized cubes because normally for inventory this compression is mandatory if marker setup is required but here i don't have e table then how does it handle so i told you for for non it will use three and uh, sorry two and three uh, at Atlanta, I also have a video. I'll send you that video for how to implement inventory in uh, Ana Optimized Cube. Mm -hmm. Advanced DSO, he'll ask you about what is advanced DSO because it's still on the initial stage. They'll ask you, it can add like cube or OD, but main point is maximum number of key fields is what? 120. Just remember that I think you can add it. And pushing down transformations towards Ana. But if you can just, sometimes what happens when you, when you, when it is Ana, you get to meet some senior people like architect or that kind of stuff and they'll just leave it to you let's say um, there is a customer who is running bw you are supposed to sell hana for him or you are supposed to propose hana for him how do you suggest? what do you suggest do you suggest core hana or do you suggest bw hana 
నెక్స్ట్ బికాస్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ కస్టమర్ ఐట్ సే రిటర్న్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ విల్ బి ఫాస్ట్ బికాస్ జస్ట్ బై మైగ్రేటింగ్ దర్ బిడబ్ విత్ హానా ఇట్ విల్ బి ఫాస్ట్ ఇన్స్ ఆఫ్ రీ ఇంప్లిమెంటింగ్ ఆల్ ద మోడల్స్ అగైన్ బట్ వాట్ అబౌట్ న్యూ కస్టమర్ అంటారు ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ న్యూ కస్టమర్ ఐల్ సే ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఎస్ఏపి ద సోర్స్ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ లెవరేజ్ ది స్టాండర్డ్ బిజినెస్ కంటెంట్ ఆఫ్ బిడబ్ల్యూ సో దెన్ ఐల్ గో విత్ బిడబ్ల్యూ బట్ ఫర్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ట్యూనింగ్ ఐల్ యూస్ హానా ఇన్ ద బ్యాక్ అండ్ సో ఐల్ గో విత్ వేర్ హైబ్రిడ్ వేర్ ఆఫ్ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ యూజింగ్ బిడబ్ల్యూ ఆన్ హానా if it is non non sap source which does not make sense to leverage business content in bw <coughs> even in bw you end up creating all customization infobix provide all this it's better do with hana boss you can do without infobix right utter logic you have to define define the categories like and if the customer is having non sap source but simplified simplified warehouse then i don't even go with hana i can just go with BODS, put it into Sybase IQ, then do reporting with Sybase IQ. I will not even leverage HANA also. Our kind of solutioning is important. Okay? And even HANA develop it, you will see that video. You stress on, we have also, there are a couple of scenarios where we develop, did HANA need to develop it. On HANA tables, we create HANA views, calculation view, and calculation view, you create word data services. And word data service was used for binding in for SAP UIFI application. As Jepal. it will be good huh? and there are similar scenarios um i think pretty much i think you can handle this way idi the point of focus you are asking me some question uh what is this? could you send me some sample resumes sam but if i send you sample resumes you are going to lose it okay because you will copy the same points then you are caught i told you what to project how to project now based on that you start if you given a chance what i'll do i'll say um i have explicitly worked uh, let's say extensively worked on bw on hana and enterprise hana combination or scenarios yeah? i was involved in explicitly doing hana modeling with attribute views analytical views calculation views Expli- uh, expertise in writing stored for scripting based calculation views expertise in writing script sql scripting with by using stored process and functions and extensively use sql functions and uh, column views and expertise in writing c uh, scripting with ce functions expertise in doing ex- slt configurations and replication of sle tables expertise through bods uh, uh, leveraging bods as etl tool and pushing data into ana as well as integrating bods towards bw and integrating slt towards bw no rascal ga na and performance expertise in involving doing performance tuning on hana uh, queries reporting on hana with partitioning of tables uh, rewriting of select statements from select star doing filtering at the bottom level of the views parallelizing uh, uh, like um, modularizing the view definitions you have no royal way but rent point tappu rasna takku rasna em pedda problem ledan ekku cheppalante resume should speak less and you should speak more నేను పంపిస్తుంది నువ్వు వారు పట్ట 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 మనం వేరే అయితే నేనేదో ఊరినే దాంట్లో రాసింది ఏమని అండ్ యూ షుడ్ సే కొద్ది ఫంక్షన్ లింక్ అప్ చేయాలి దిస్ టెక్నికల్ యూ షుడ్ లింక్ అప్ టు బిజినెస్ వీ క్రియేట్ మోర్ క్యాల్కులేషన్ టువర్డ్స్ సేల్స్ పర్చేసింగ్ ఎంఎం ఫైనాన్స్ అంటే అవి అయితే అది రియల్ టైమ్ అంతే ఎంతో వెన్ ఇస్ వెన్ యూ డోంట్ లింక్ దట్ టు సమ్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ లింకింగ్ దట్ దెన్ ఈ మై టాస్క్ యూ ఓకే వాట్ ఈస్ ద సినార్ అంట so that was the reason i told you to go through the ready made hana views what is delivered in hana live just catch hold of sd oka rendu mood mmo rendu mood fi rendu mood chusi then adhe sinar jeppu vaan getta telunu you will never know what is there in hana live you know so if you explain the same scenario ah or kotta anukuntadu 100% i am guaranteeing you they don't know what is there in hana live they know there are views but no one has spent some time in exploring the complete view definition so you explore and you, ex- you explain the same view as if you have done it in real time you will never come and say is ready undu kada na adige konta scene led ante if you has to comment on that 
you should have gone through all 1024 views in detail then only you can comment at that point oka veel if even if he says there is already ready made view kada ante dantlo rendu fields ledu kavalsina gotu mem copy chesku mem customize chestunnatu ayi inga atla nan na jol gatlo vache ad ready made undu kada no en kotta ga chestunnatu anna anta bane undi ma dantlo em ante in uh, instead of using that vbuk table mark we were using z vbuk so i could not use ready made one we create my own ante em chesthe cheppu em chesthe cheppu it support your contents person no id undu kada ante ad ante ga ayipen it support contents ante okay here great ante okay okay so what and you should also stress on smart data access which is very interesting hana to hana ante i had ecc on hana bw on hana i wanted to consume those hana tables virtually then i use what smart data access a bit so what are the records reports developed in lumbra for you i type in whether we can say design studio replace bo yes exactly now the sap is not focusing on dashboard design and excel cs now there are also projects where they trying to convert existing excel cs dashboards to design studio also so um, does big data hadoop has similar concepts see big data is actually a concept which says handling of huge data and hadoop is one of the application which can handle big data or which can handle huge data so which based on distributed file system concept so even hadoop can handle this with big data or hana can handle big data and hana focus endante in future like going forward you will have all the sap applications sitting on one hana platform ecc crm all of them will sit on one hana platform so all sap data is getting into one hana database for all non sap data they'll push data into hadoop and this hadoop will integrate to hana and then from hana they do it that is what future focus on and uh, sir share the pending i'll i'll do all today don't worry could you send everything else i'll not hide anything okay. that would be great okay i'll send in what way is different see the my ours is in memory and hadoop is not in memory it is distributed file system they scatter the data to multiple places and then club and then deploy parallelism and club the data when it is required it's more like a search engine yeah? could you send us some example resumes ne pompisna ne waste anna okay sir if we have bw on hana and simultaneously we use hana for modeling then data processing for hana to read ecc tables which way we should generally prefer you tell me now excellent question is saying i got bw on hana and i i can i can i can enable i can lever, leverage etl part of bw or i can also do data processing into hana also which one should i use is right he saying i wants to extract data from ecc to bw even if i extract to bw ultimately data is sitting in hana or even if i load into hana ultimately that can be consumed in bw either way now given that chance should i use the etl part of bw or data processing of normal bods or slt is asking you tell me huh? he is saying based on sinner now now what i say is if i use bw concepts of etl i can leverage standard business content data sources and load this if i am using slt i am extract data from tables and views if you extract tables and views you, you end up reinventing the complete data source logic again by creating a view why do you want to take the project then how many days will it take for implementing your bw project then and one more if you want to use extractor i need to use bods i need to again i get the licenses for bods why should i spend why should my customer spend more when i have a bw flexibility of extracting ecc with standard content delivered and standard procedures delivered to extract why do you want i want to go with bods or slt but you can say the bw loading is not supporting your back uh, uh, real time that is a batch mode yes but in some you may not need real time in every scenario in some scenario where you want real time i can also you can configure slt towards bw or to ana bring only those tables for real time replication and do real time reporting rest all will be normal loading of bw 
I can also do, let's say, if there's a non-SAP source legacy, which I'm not able to connect that to BWL directly, I can leverage, in that case, I can leverage BODs to integrate towards what? That Java will be source for BODs and BODs will be target towards, source will be for what? BWL. Now I load your touch, HANA in that case. I can also do that way. For all, because I can do scheduling everything in process in BWL. In HANA, what do you have? In HANA, you'll have to use something called .access job to schedule a procedure. Scheduling is really tough. So if I use BW part, I can do scheduling is also very simpler for me. So I prefer that way. Yeah. Mm. Do we have a list of QAs answer? Uh, I don't have QAs answer, but what I've discussed is pretty much enough you can handle. That would be helpful. I, I st I'll try. I'll try for it. Today's class video. Yeah, today's class also will be sent. Great. Okay. SLT. Could you send some link where we can get some example or scenario? See, best case for example or scenarios okay. is HANA Live. Open up HANA Live, take up one query view, get in, in detail, analyze. What, so if you do that, you will get you will get complete grip on the data dictionary also. And the ECs are table pair, that are columns, so A column lane, what the grip was there. So when you're really good at tables or dictionary, it is very easy for you to do modeling any time. In Japan, we follow a very important point. Which way of data provisioning is more preferred? SLT, BOD is a smart data access. I will see um, real time SLT or smart data access. If it is bad and only tables, but if you want to go with extractors, I'm okay with batch mode, then I'll go with and lot of transformation, then I'll go with what? BOD is okay. Any other questions, boss? <coughs> But we have tend some time. Uh, happy Pongal bus. And I'll send you the videos uh, at a stretch. I'm going to send you the documents also, whatever is possible. If you miss out something, you can always call a number and tell me. Eh? Yeah, today is the last class of this. We are ending it today. Yeah, what is it? Mm. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Thanks, boss. Thank you all, boss. Thank you. Bye. If, if, if the video gets expired, you can always call me. I'll extend it. No. Now, find out where Abdul Jab was. I was in London. We're in the Rabu. I'm a little expand. Extend this. Thank you.